Good evening, good evening, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for joining. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. How are you guys? How are you today? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Ready for today? Yes. I'm ready. Well, yeah. Very good. How was your vacation, guys? I was wondering that. How was your vacation? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, and I hope you could have a great vacation, right? You could spend time with your families, uh, relax, right? Because we deserve it. We deserve it. Thank you for joining. We're going to start with uh, the class. And it's nice to have you here. Uh, the first thing, remember, I'm going to pass the attendance, please, as soon as you listen to your names. Tell me up and say present. We're here, yeah. Here we go. Tatna uh, Moncada. Present teacher. Thanks. Veronica Duran. Present teacher. Here, Edith. Present. Okay, Nancy. Here. Alexis. Present. Here, Maria Hueso. Present. Here, okay. Jeanette. Jenny Sarai. Present teacher. William Ernesto. Daniel. Present teacher. Present, present. Thanks, William. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Ruth Milagro. Ruth Milagro. I can see you. I can see you. Uh, Luis Emilio. Thank you. Walter Arpedo. Walter. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose. Service man. Jose is not here yet. Yeah. Tony Madonado. Jaime. Present. Thanks. Zulma. Present teacher. Thanks. Gloria. Gloria. Heidi. Heidi. Victor, in the chat. And thank you, Bill. Uh, Milagro. Thank you, Heidi. No worries. Victor, very good. Thank you. Gilma. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Justin Bonilla. Can you hear me? I guess you have some issues because I cannot listen to you. Hello, hello. Present teacher. Hello, thank you. Yeah. Erika Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Erika Yesenia. Vilma, Tatiana. Okay, uh, Veronica Milagro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gerardo Chinchilla. Present. Thanks. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, Marta Stephanie. Present teacher. Thanks. Carolina. Marina Marquez is not here. 
Okay, uh, like I said before, welcome back everybody. It's nice meeting you in this new class, new week, and new month, right? We're starting with, oh, we already started, started with uh, August. But yeah, we're, we are starting the classes. So we are restarting the classes. That's great because we're going to continue with more, right? Thank you so much. And like I said before, I hope you could have a, you could have a great vacation. Right, and it's time to continue. Uh, good evening, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Somebody else joined us previously. Hello, Jesse. Who are you? Alguien más unió hace un momento. Además de Jesse. Vamos. Teacher, yo no escuché que me mencionara Sonia Maldonado. Oh, thank you. Sí, la mencioné. No se preocupe. Sí, verifique que estaba acá. Thank you. No worries. Okay, we're going to start. All right, class number 11. Uh, first, I just want to point out some things about the, the, the course, right? The module for to start. Uh, solamente hacer énfasis en lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Como ustedes saben con respecto a la plataforma, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Avanzamos durante la vacación, durante la pausa? ¿Qué hubo? ¿Podemos avanzar? Nos quedamos un poco, eh, nos habíamos quedado, ¿verdad? Con todas las secciones. ¿Podemos avanzar? ¿Vamos bien? ¿Ningún problema? Si no recordarles siempre que estamos a una semana y media, de culminar, ¿verdad? Con el, con el módulo. Entonces, hacer siempre el recordatorio. Y ahorita estamos en la sección 4. Y mañana terminamos con la sección 4. Y al miércoles iniciamos con la última sección, que es la sección 5 y la última sección. Para recordarles. Y el próximo lunes vamos a... Tenemos que tener ya completa la plataforma, todo. Eh, la sección, las cinco secciones y el final exam. Ese es el último. El final exam. Tiene que ser un día antes, completo todo. El martes terminamos de la próxima semana y esa es clase normal. Es que es muy importante su, su asistencia a todas las sesiones, todas las clases. Son 16. Es que Yo ya finalizé es... la plataforma. Excelente. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. If you have finished, thank you. Thank you for your great words. Congratulations. And yeah, keep going. Remember, keep going. That's the most important thing. Continue practicing. And of course, we will continue here in the classes because we're going to reinforce yeah, some topics and other things. Ya que terminamos, repito, gracias, felicidades. Pues a seguir practicando, no quedarnos a salir, seguir practicando. Cuando quedamos igual acá en clase, vamos a seguir eh, con las clases, ¿verdad? Reforzando mucho más. Y si hay dudas o preguntas, no olviden hacerlo. ¿Okay? No sé si hay dudas o preguntas. Hasta el momento, comentarios. Teacher, buenas noches. Yes. Bienvenido. Dame. Eh, yo tengo este, un inconveniente con una pregunta. Este de la de la 5.10 en la 2 no le hallo de qué forma la puedo este organizar porque como la dan desordenada para que uno la, la ordene pero no la 2 no le encuentro cómo you say 5.10 right 5.10 sí let me check And specifically, it's the second one, right? Number two. Yeah. It says instructions as from the words to create questions. Example, one where you, one where you were. Oh, okay. See. Sí. Let me see. In the second one, in the year uh, 2000. Oh, okay. It's like, how old were you? In the year 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
How old were you in the year 2000? That is the, the, the correct order. No worries. Yeah. Take your time. Mm. We have the WH word. How old? The pass will be where? Subject, you. And we have the complement, the year 2000. Okay. No sé, porque quizás tengo problemas quizás con la plataforma porque no me la no me la acepta. Mm. Solo se queda en, en blanco. Yes. Um, Voy a reiniciar only... entonces, creo sí, que eso sí. debe ser. ¿Puede uh -huh. a, reiniciar o, o, o actualizar? Ah, actualizar, ajá. No se preocupe. Es, Tiene el mismo problema. Gracias. Me, me Bye, está bien, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. ¿Anybody else questions about the platform? Okay, well, uh, just the reminder. Remember, please keep, keep on, keep on working in the platform. We are in this session number four. Uh, you have to finish the session number four in case you continue in that session. You have to finish until tomorrow, right? And then we're going to start with the last session, which is, which is section number five. But until this coming, this coming Monday, you have to finish with everything, with the platform and the final exam, and that's it. Okay, so this coming next Tuesday, we're going to finish with the module. That will be class number 16. Okay, if you don't have more questions, we will keep on in the class. And this is the topic for today. Class number 11, today is Monday, August 9th. This is the topic, pronunciation, Simple pass. We continue with a simple pass. Remember, in the previous class, before going to vacation, we were talking about simple pass statements with regular verbs. We'll continue with the regular verbs because we're going to make emphasis on that. But you know, we already said about that. I just want to give you some examples, etc. And the main focus today will be irregular verbs because that is the other point. Irregular verbs. Vamos a enfocarnos acá, ¿verdad? Ya estuvimos hablando acerca de los juegos regulares. Vamos a ver un poco, a hacer un, una pequeña retroalimentación. Y vamos a enfocarnos en los verbos irregulares. Ok. Moving on. Let's begin with the regular verbs. Eh, what do you remember about the regular, regular verbs? What are the the endings that we include in the verbs. ¿Cuáles son las terminaciones? ED. ED. D. IED. IED, exactly. Very good. I -E -E. Uh, yes. Thank you. Those are the endings, yes. D, ED, and IED. Uh, by the way, thank you, Daniel, for notifying me uh, in the chat that you were having some issues with the platform, right? Uh, at the same time, I want to welcome Eric and Yesenia. Welcome. Welcome back. Let me see if I have another participant. Um, I think not. Just Erika Yesenia, yeah. Uh, good evening, Erika. Thank you for joining. How are you? Everything okay, Erika? Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, repeat, please. How are you today? How are you? Are you uh, okay? Fine. Okay, okay. Nice. Thank you, Erika. Very good. Okay, we continue. Uh, this is today's topic, Erika. We're going to focus on pronunciation, simple past, regular verbs 
regular and irregular verbs, the two forms. All right, continue. I was asking you about the regular verbs. What are the endings that we use in the verbs? We know that the verbs are in the base form, right? And we include these endings, the ones that you said, D, ED, or IED, in the simple past. We continue talking about the simple past tense. Don't forget it. Simple past. And right now we have regular verbs. With the regular verbs, as we said in the previous class, um, we have some rules that we can follow. Oh, very good, Anna Janet. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for informing me. Um, yeah, with the regular verbs, we have different forms, right? With different uh, rules that we follow. Uh, like I said before, with most of the verbs, we include ED. What? We say what? Remember the pronunciation. <clears throat> the pronunciation is different, sorry. The pronunciation is different of these words. Say walk in the base form or in the present form. Walk. And we say walk. Walk. Play. And we say played. Played. So as we said in the previous class. Oh, thank you. No worries. Jose. Thank you for joining. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Sorry, evening. I'm late. It's okay, no worries. So you are, yeah, you're here and we are starting with this, no worries. Uh, we are focusing on regular and irregular verbs in the simple past, right? And we're going to uh, talk about some aspects related to the pronunciation, right? Uh, as I said in the previous class, we have these endings with the same with the, with the regular verbs specific, the simple ones. D, ED, or ID. Agregamos esas terminaciones, ¿verdad? A los verbos. Los verbos en forma base o presente. O infinitivo, ¿verdad? O, walk, play, played. Play, played. So as I said, as we said in the previous class. With this kind of verse, we have some sounds. We keep in mind some sounds, right? We have a T sound, we have a D sound, and we have an ID sound. Depending on that, we pronounce the verse differently in the simple sense, right? For example, if you have walk, 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 that is in the base one, right? But if you say in the simple past, it's different. Walk, walk. So it's like you have a T sound at the end. Walk, walk, walk. Right. That's way. Uh, with this sound, this sound, for example, play, that's in the base form, play. In the past form, we say play. We have the sound played, played, played. And with ED, we can say star, for example. Most of the times when we have these sounds, it's because the verbs finish in E or D. So a star finishes with T. So in here we say a stutter. In the past, we say stutter. Star, stutter. Again, Walk, walked, play, played, 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 star, stutter, stutter. And that's why. That's why we pronounce the verse differently in the same uh, Continue. When the verse ended in E, we add just D. For example, like and move. So we say like, light, light, move, they moved, move. Right? So we add just D because this verb finish in E. Terminan con la letra E. Solo se les agrega D. Next, a verse ending in a, in a consonant. 
consonant plus Y. So we change a white, letter white, and we include IED. So we say carry, carry it, carry it. Study, study it, study it. So we omit, or we eliminate the white and we change it by including IED. And the last one is when some verbs ending in a single consonant plus the second last letter, it's a vowel. In other words, consonant, vowel, consonant, except in the previous sense. When we have a verb that finishes with consonant, vowel, consonant, so we double the last letter and we include ED. For example, plan, it's a plan, it's in that way. Because we have a consonant. So in this case, we have two, right? But it becomes one because we, we have just one syllable. That se convierte en una sola porque solo tenemos una, tenemos solo una sílaba. Una sílaba. That's why we double the last letter, which is N, and we add uh, it. Plan, plan, plan. Next is a stop. Stop, stop. It's been the same, consonant by one consonant. And we say stop. 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 Okay. That is the last rule. Those are some rules for regular verbs. And here we have the way we pronounce the verse, right? We have the ED sound, the T sound, and D sound. Uh, we have the boy sounds. What are the boy sounds? It's when we have a when we have a D sound. It's because when we use a, a boy sound, uh, it uses the vocal cords and they produce a vibration. Vibration in your throat. Throat. For example, cold. Cold. Go, go, cold. Cold. So that's why we have a D sound because it's a voice sound. Clean, 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 clean. Offer, offer, offer. Right? Those are we use D sounds in this case. In those cases, uh, damage, the damage, damage. Love, they loved. Loved, loved, use, 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 amaze, amazed, amazed, rub, they rubbed, rubbed, claim, we say claimed, claimed. So when you feel a vibration in your throat, it's because we have a D sound, and this sound, all right? On the other hand, on the other hand, when we have a this sound, it's because it's different. So the sound, the sound is made at the front of your mouth. For example, help, help, help. So you don't you don't feel that vibration. Help, help, help. Look at my mouth. Help, 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 help. So that's why in this case, voiceless sound. Voiceless sound. So it means that the sound is made at the front of your mouth. Help, 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 help. They helped, helped. Look, look, looked, looked. Sniff, sniff. Laugh, say laugh, laugh. Wash, they wash. Watch, they watch. Kiss, they kissed, kissed. Dance, they danced, danced. Fix, they fixed, fixed. Okay, that is, those are some examples with the T sound, with the T sound, right? And it is different with the ED sound because with the ED sound, it's more, it is easier. It is easier to identify these ones. 
because the verse, the verse finish in your D. For example, want, want, want finishes in T. So it finishes in T. But this is a, an ED sound. And we say, want it. Want, want it, want it. Next is, uh, need. Need finishes with the letter D. So in the past form, we say, need it, need it, need it, need, need it, need it. So this is an ED sound. So it's because the verse again, they finish in, in T or D, in T or D, All right? So that's the way we pronounce the regular verse, regular verse. Right. Any questions over here? You have a again when you have a body sound, it's because you have a vibration in your throat. And we have these specific letters. For example, damage. Uh -huh. You make that sound, you feel a vibration, right? Damage, damaged. Okay. So that's a way. Any questions? Everything good? What are students? It's okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the following part. Uh, let me give you remember the way we use simple past. The simple past tense indicates an action which is completed at a definite time in the past. In other words, we use simple past for completed actions in the past. Uh, yeah, in some cases it's, di it's difficult to pronounce some words, but not, it is not impossible. Okay, so what you have to do is to practice, practice with the reg regular verse, the pronunciation, right? So I remember, uh, watch the video that I sent you, I hope you can watch it, so, or you can look for more videos. You can watch uh, specifically the pronunciation of these words, because yeah, they are different. So in the simple past, in the past form, they are different. They are pronounced differently. Okay? It depends on the sounds, on the sounds. Okay, let me give you some examples, right? As I said in the, as I showed, as I showed you in the previous class. We have present form and we have past form. Of course, we have three forms, right? Present, past form, and past participle form. But right now we're gonna focus just on platform. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Exercise, exercise. Study, study it. Stay, stayed, stayed. Shop, shop. Work, worked. Play, played, played. Visit, visited. Visited. Okay. So again, we pronounce in a different way the past form. And it depends on the sounds. The sound, the sound, or ID sound. Right? This is just a summary. This is just a summary, sorry, about the regular verse. Now I'm going to focus on the irregular verse. Irregular verse. Uh, any questions before to move on? I'll be here. Thank you. 
Okay, let's go with the irregular verbs. Remember, don't forget the, the way we use simple past. And now let's go with irregular verbs. It's because, very good question, Gloria. Yeah, take uh, changes in the simple past or the past form because it's irregular. When you have irregular verbs, Gloria and everybody, is they have different classifications. So in here, with the irregular verbs, we don't include D, E, D, or I, E, D. So that is with the regular verbs. With irregulars, we use different classifications. For example, the, the pass of take, it is not take. I mean, with ED, for example. No, because it's irregular. But this is incorrect. This is irregular. So the past form is two. It's because irregulars, irregular verbs, have different classifications. Let me show you which ones. Here we have. There isn't any rule to form irregular forms, but we can classify them. We have different classifications or categories. Let's go one by one. We have four here. In the first one, this is the first one, some verbs don't change its form. For example, and I told you in the previous class, right? The verse have different classifications. Different forms, sorry. Let me show you. So a verb has a present form, as form, and we have a past possible. For example, let's go with irregulars now. The first classification. Some verbs don't change their forms. So, for example, the verb put. Put. Say put. It's the same. In the past verse, it's probably the same. Put. Another one is cost. Cost. The cost. Same. So, what I want to do is to pay attention to this part because this is the most important. Right? I'm gonna focus on the past one. All right, that's the first classification. All the forms are the same. We don't change them. Exactly, Edith. Exactly. That is another form. That is another example. Read. So all the forms are the same. But listen, because in here we say, listen to me. We say put, put, and put. We say cost, 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 and cost. With the verb read, yeah, all the forms are the same. They are the same, but the pronunciation is different. Read, listen, read, read, read. So this pronunciation is like the color. We say red in the past form and we'll say in the past possible red. Yeah, it is written in the same way, but the pronunciation is different. Read, red, and red. Okay. Yes, it is irregular. It is. This, this one is irregular. So we write the, the verb in the same in the same way in the three forms, but we pronounce it differently. Read, read, read. Okay, that is the first classification. Let's go with the second one. Some verbs change the past form in the past participle form. Only the past and the past participle form. For example, we have green. Green. In the past form, we say brought. And in the past principle, we say brought to. Brought. And we have another one it is a stand. A stand is in the present form. A stood is in the past form. And a stood is in the past principle. Another one is by. By, we say. 
but what? Oh, say but. Okay, that is the second classification. So the past form, the past and the past passive form, they are the same. They are the same. Right? Green, brought, brought. Stand, stood, stood. Why, but, but. It is different with Elizabeth. I'm going to show you how. No worries. I'm going to get to that one. This is the second classification. Again, some verbs change the simple past and the past participle forms. Let's go with number three. Number three says some verbs change only one form. Most of the times when we when we change only one form, we usually change only the vowel. For example, we have run, run, we say run, and we say run again. As you can see, we change only the letter, the vowel. In this case, we change, we use A instead of U. But in the past principle, it's the same as the present. Run, run, run. And the one that we have to use now is this one, right? Right, because it's past one. Another one is, when we say come, in the past one, we say came, and in the past principle, we'll say come again. Another example is become. Become, we say become, became, and we say become again. That is the, the third classification. So only one form changes, only one form changes, and we change only the vowel. vowel. And the last one, so in this case, the three forms are different. The present, the past, and the past principle forms are different. As Ruth said, the verb eat. The verb eat is different in the three ways. We say eat, we say ate, listen, eat, ate, and we say eaten. The other one is swim. Swan, and we say swim. Swim, swan, swim. Swim, swan, swim. So the best way to, to learn some verse is like this. I mean, it's like you have a song. Swim, swan, swim. 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 Okay. Another one is take. The verb take. Say took in the past one, and we say taken in the past passive. Okay, so the last classification says that all the forms change the present, the past, and the past passive. Okay, so this is the way we classify, we don't change the verse. I mean, talking about that we add, for example, endings like with the regular verse, so we classify them. In this case, no, con verbos irregulares, no, no los cambiamos, pero me refiero a cambiarlos, es decir, agregándoles algo más. Que no que se hacen unos cambios, pero se están eh, por clasificación, o por categorías. No se les agrega nada. Hacen algunos cambios, eso sí pero no se les agrega ed, t o i e d. Eso se hace solo con irregulares. Y mi recomendación, como les decía en la, en la clase pasada, me preguntaban ustedes cómo hacer para aprenderse los verbos, ¿verdad? Eh, esa es la, la, la opción, ¿verdad? La opción, la mejor opción, ¿verdad? Eh, aprenderse, pues, memorizarlos. Eh, pero obviamente hay que practicar más. Es decir, eh, Iniciar con los verbos regulares, perdón, con los verbos comunes, sea regulares, sea irregulares, y usarlos en oraciones. Esa sería la mejor opción. Usarlos en oraciones, ustedes escriben oraciones, ya sean en presente, en pasado, con el pasado. Es que iniciamos así, 
vayamos con números más comunes, los más fáciles. No vayamos a aprendernos el gran montón. Hacemos con 5, con 10, lo máximo. Y vayamos poco a poco aprendiendo los verbos, pero no todos de un solo, no aprendemos 50 de un solo. Mentira. Y hacemos así de poquito. 5 a 5, de 10 en 10, sería como lo máximo. Uh, hey, so, solo si me pudiera regalarme un ejemplo del uso del, del participio. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the past participle form, uh, you use that with the present perfect, with, with the perfect tenses, or in some, uh, and you use it with the passive voice. But that is something that you're going to learn um, soon, right? Y lo utilizamos, la forma del pasado del participio lo utilizamos con los, los tiempos perfectos o si no con la voz partida, pero eso se va, ver, se va a ver más adelante. Por eso les decía, ahorita nos vamos a enfocar solamente en esa columna, en esas dos columnas, ¿no? en esas dos. Pero les estoy, eh, en este caso, mostrando a los demás porque, para que ustedes vean la diferencia de cómo se van clasificando los grupos cerebrales. Pero un ejemplo sería, el past participle. Eh, like I said before, we use it with the present perfect, for example. Present perfect. And you can say, I have been to Mexico before. So we use an auxiliary and we use the past participle verb. Utilizamos un auxiliar que es have. Utilizamos al verbo participio, que es been. El verbo been es otro verbo que se clasifica en la última categoría. Es decir, sus tres formas cambian. Es el verbo be. En el password es was or where. En el past participle, we say been. So, you can say, I have been to Mexico before. But this is the present perfect tense. But these things we will see it later. Ese, ese tiempo verbal lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero, claro, yo con gusto, o sea, me, 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 me consultan, ¿verdad? me preguntan, ¿no? me piden ejemplos, y claro, con gusto. La forma, los participios. Eh, por ejemplo, you can say another one. He has gone camping eh, for five years. For example, the past principle is gone. So, what do you, what is it? What do you think is the, the base form of the verb? To go. Go exactly. I so will say oops, go. The past form will say went, and the past principle will be gone. He has gone to. He has gone camping. Sorry, for five years. It's in the present perfect. But again, we will see this soon, no worries. Vamos a ver eso más adelante, no se preocupe. Vamos paso a paso. Igual, clarificando. Yes. Eh, hay que iniciar, ¿verdad? Hay que iniciar desde A a practicar con los verbos. Las tres formas. Pero ahorita iniciamos, vamos paso a paso. Presente y pasado. Adelante, si se van a ir dando cuenta, vamos a ir utilizando el todo participa. Okay, so do I clarify your doubt? Yes, teacher, thanks. Okay, nice. Well, any questions? Somebody else? And uh, of course, as you know, and as I uh, show you in the previous class, we do or we use this verse, this verse in the past form only with the affirmative form. In negative, because we use auxiliary didn't, so we use the verb in base form, right? For example, you can say, I went to the beach last week. That is affirmative. We, change, we use that form only in affirmative. In negative, we use uh, the base form. So we say, I didn't go to the beach 
last week. So we didn't change the verb. We keep it in base form, in negative form. And in questions the same. You go, you go to the beach last week. This is question form. And we use the verb in base form, in questions and in negative. We, we change it only in the affirmative form. Okay. This is a way. Why we don't use the past form in negative or questions is because we have the auxiliaries. Pass. Didn't in negative and did in questions. That's why the verb has to be in base form, not in pass. Okay. Let me give you some examples. And now, here we have a combination of the, of the two parts, regular and irregular verbs. For example, I saw a movie yesterday. I didn't see a play yesterday, that is a negative form. I saw a movie yesterday. I didn't see a movie yesterday, or I didn't see a play yesterday. Mm -hmm. Last year, I traveled to Japan. Last year, I didn't travel to Korea. Did you have dinner last night? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. She washed her corn. He didn't wash his corn. So we have a combination of the words, regular and irregular verse. At the same time, we have affirmative, negative, and question words. Okay. Pretty good. So any questions? Any doubts, comments, preguntas, dudas, pueden hacer sus preguntas. Tengan pena. So far, so good. As I said in the, in the previous class, um, yeah, two weeks ago, I will send you a, a list of verbs, the most common verbs, so you can continue, you can start practicing, right? Les voy a, a estar enviando eh, una pequeña lista, ¿verdad? De verbos. Quiero ver verbos como le Vamos con eso. Vayamos poco a poco practicando. Dando mucho más. Ok, uh, so far so good. Everything is okay. No questions? No question, teacher. Thanks. Let's go with some practice. No? Hello? No, no, teacher. Okay. Let's go with some practice. I need you to identify regular and irregular verbs in the following exercises. Look at the exercises provided, complete them, with the correct form of regular and irregular verbs. We have some exercises. What I want to do, I need you to pay attention to the verb in parentheses. I need you to follow the first example and continue with the other ones. We have the verbs talk, play, see, dance, write, and work. The first example is given as an, the first exercise, sorry, is given as an example. It says, I talked to you last night. Uh, is talk regular or irregular verb? Is it's regular. 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 Yes, that's right. The talk is regular. It's regular. That's why we include ED. So I need you to continue with the other ones, number two, three, until number six in your notebooks. And I need you to identify if it is regular or regular. Let's go. Complete the sentences. All of them are in affirmative right now. In affirmative. As soon as you finish, please let me know. I will give you five minutes. Four or five minutes. Go ahead.
Wait. Take your time. Take your time. As you finish, please raise your hands. You hear me? I finish. Thanks. Finish, teacher. Thanks a lot. I finish, teacher. Thank you. We finished teaching. Good, yeah, thank you. Okay. Um we're going to start in a few minutes. I will give you one, one more minute and we're going to start.
Okay, we're going to start. Well, number one is I talk to you last night. And as you said, this is regular, right? That is a regular verb. Absolutely. Because we add ed, ed at the end. So we can recognize that verb. Number two, what is the, the way? What is the answer? Plate. Plate. It's regular. Okay, that is regular. Exactly. She played, she played volleyball last Saturday. So try to make emphasis on the verb. If it is regular, make emphasis. If it is a this sound, this sound, or a this sound. This case is a this sound. She played volleyball last Saturday. Good, that is regular. Okay, number three. It's irregular. Irregular. Irregular, See. what is, what is oh. the answer? Oh. So. So, can you spell so? Can you spell so? Yes. You. You. Yes, we saw. So. That is so. No. S S A I S A W S A W. So that is the past form of C, yes. We saw an UFO last night. We saw an UFO last night. Is this regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 Exactly. Very good. Number four. She dance it. Dance it. Dance it. Dance it. Yeah. This, one, this one is regular. It, it has a T sound. So say she danced. She danced very well last Sunday night. Very good. Dance regular. Next, number five. What? Wrote. Wrote. It's irregular. Okay. Irregular. And what is the change that we make in the in the form? The letter I. Yes. For and we use O. o. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, we change, we use O instead of I. I wrote a letter to the president last month so and I, it is regular. I, I. Very good. And the last one? Work it. Work. 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 Exactly. Work. Work. Advanced. Yeah. It's regular. It is irregular. Regular. And this one, it, it, and this one has a T sound. Regular. Word. Regular. Word. Word. My word. father worked word. at a bank in 2010. Word. Very good. Well, hey guys, this is we're going to uh, finish right here because this is the last part. Uh, I think I'm going to send you some exercises in the, in the WhatsApp group in order for you to practice more with the regular and the regular verse. Uh, please keep an eye on on the group, please, in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to send you a link of exercises. You have to click on the link and you're going to start working on some exercises in order for you to practice with a simple pass, right? With regular and irregular verbs. Les enviaré un enlace de algunos ejercicios para que ustedes trabajen en línea y puedan seguir practicando. Adicional a la forma. Ustedes siguen trabajando en la plataforma. Pues ahí que no se necesita. Eso va a ser adicional para que ustedes sigan practicando. ¿Ok? Well, okay. any questions? Very good. Questions before to go? So far, so good. Okay. Y no olvidemos lo último. Nuevamente el decoratorio. Eh, si vamos trabajando en la plataforma, si hemos completado, frente, Jonas, eh, si estamos por finalizar, sigamos, sigamos trabajando. Eh, si nos hemos quedado poquito, nos hemos atrasado, continuamos. Todavía hay tiempo, todavía hay una semana y un día. Una semana y un día, porque hasta el lunes tiene que ser todo completo. Eh, si vamos al día, hay algunos que van al día, ¿verdad? Pero sigamos, vamos trabajando. No nos quedemos. Eh, siempre los motivos, los animos, seguir. Y mucho más. Okay. Cualquier cosa estamos a la hora, recuerden. 
pueden contactar, sea en el grupo o de Vamos a la otra. Well, everybody, we're going to start right here because it's time. Uh, thank you so much for your time, your participation and dedication in every class. Uh, you have done a great job in this class. We will continue. Remember, keep practicing with a simple pass, regular and regular verse. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay safe. And God bless you. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good God bless night, you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Same to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.